The metaverse is bridging the gap between augmented reality, virtual reality, and our physical reality. And there are multi-million dollar deals going on in the metaverse every single week. And a lot of people are asking, you know, how do I get my piece of this digital pie? Well, today I wanna to give you six steps on how to purchase land in the metaverse, as well as risks involved and what you should do long-term before you decide to purchase any digital real estate. My name is Chad Johnerson and I am your Denver Modern Agent. And yes, that means I am a licensed realtor here in the state of Colorado. And I enjoy helping you guys in your real estate endeavors around the Denver metro area. So before you even purchase any digital land, be sure to reach out to me to get a hold of some physical land first. My contact information is down below in the description uh, as well as my phone number popping up on screen. Let's jump right into this, the first step. Step one, you need to choose a platform and create an account on the platform. Whether that be Decentraland, Sandbox, or Axie Infinity, you just need to choose a, choose a digital platform or a metaverse platform that you wanna purchase and own land on and make sure you have an account registered so that way you can hold that digital uh, asset in your wallet. Step two, shop around and do some research. Not only do you wanna shop around and compare prices of the properties in their own individual platforms, but you wanna do research on each of the platforms as well. You wanna make sure that you know, you're buying into a project that has significant backing and a lot of support uh, from people either participating in that digital platform and that metaverse, or you know, that has a lot of financial backing from you know, big, big name companies. Be sure that you're understanding what's going on in each one of these platforms before you dive into a riskier investment like these. Step three, you're gonna to wanna to identify the land that you wanna purchase. Uh, you can click on a parcel within each one of their websites. If you go to their properties tab, you can go and look at where they have available properties. Get some more information on those parcels and be sure to read about them, you know, where they're located, why, you know, why they might be a sound investment or why people have purchased and, and bought and sold them in the past. Next thing you wanna do is for step four is link your digital wallet. Now, if you don't have a digital wallet already, the most popular one out there right now is MetaMask, and that will allow you to hold virtually any cryptocurrency in there uh, to use for you know, buying and selling your digital real estate. Now, with that wallet, you wanna make sure that you are holding the correct cryptocurrency in there in order to purchase this digital real estate. And that brings me to step five is funding your wallet. So you want to fund that wallet with your cryptocurrency. You want to make sure that you're holding the right one. If, if you're purchasing into central land, that'd be mana. If you're purchasing in sandbox, that would be their sandbox token. Now you can go out and purchase these on exchanges and make sure that you are purchasing it on a vetted exchange and then sending that over to your digital wallet address in order to hold and be able to purchase uh, with that for you know your digital land. Step six, after you make the purchase, you're going to get that piece of digital real estate in your wallet as a NFT, which is a non-fungible token. And you're gonna be able to you know buy and sell and trade that on the open market if you wanna do it that way, or you could relist it back on these projects' websites uh, in order to you know resell it for a profit if you can you know buy and hold for a little bit and turn around and sell it for more. Now let's talk about some of the risks involved with purchasing uh, in, in the metaverse. So first thing is a lot of these properties are tied to cryptocurrencies that are traded on the open market and that means the value of those can fluctuate dramatically day in and day out. So you could be seeing you know, tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of swings in your property value uh, based on you know, the cryptocurrency that is used to buy and sell um, and build on this metaverse blockchain with. Now, another risk is that this land is not physical. It can be taken away from you literally at any moment. And what I mean by that is 
the creator of these projects can just go in and be like, oh, look at this file. Might as well delete it. And they can just delete, they can delete your piece of virtual land and you don't own it anymore. Or the servers can get shut down and that's that. You just, you never know what could happen uh, with your, you know, the digital assets. Whereas opposed to if you are purchasing domain names, you can host that on your own, you know, computer or uh, servers. You can host these things, or you could, you know, you can go out and create your own metaverse if you really wanted to. You could do it that way, and you have full autonomy and control of what is going on in there. However, when you're purchasing, you know, in some of these platforms, that's just some of the risk that you run, um, and you should be aware of. You, you just never know. You could wake up one day, and you could lose out on hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of dollars depending on what you're purchasing. One tip that I wanna give you guys though before you buy digital land is you should invest in physical land or buy a duplex or a triplex or a single family home. Get some sort of physical property first before you put your money in a risky investment like that of digital real estate and cryptocurrencies. So if you need help with getting connected with anyone in the real estate industry, whether it be a realtor in your local market or getting connected with you know, a lender, let me know. I'm happy to make the connection for you guys. Reach out. Like I said, my contact information is below. I'd be happy to help you guys however I can. But I want to know, have you purchased any digital real estate? And if so, what platform did you purchase it on? And what are you using it for? Are you generating income off of it or are you just buying and holding with hopes of selling it at a higher price later on uh, in the future? I'd love to know. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave me a like. It helps me out a bunch. It helps get my content out there to other people to be able to see it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching as far as you have. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you in the next video.